Episode 2, let's make a fire. It lives. And now the magic of video editing. Okay, time to get to work. Alright, here's the plan. We're gonna build a swing arm. Well, we've already built the swing arm. We need the pivot point. And I found this beautiful, beautiful piece of steel outside where no one ever sees it. We're gonna cut it to size. Let's see if I can. Oh man, angles, right? Cut it to size on either side. Something like that. And then, let's head over to this beautiful workbench. So then on either side, the metal's going to come out. This will go in between. And then, a bolt will hold it on. That made more sense in my head, but you'll find out in a second. That it actually does work. I don't know. There, that's good. Right here. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Expertly marked it out, and now we'll go cut it off, not grind. Thanks, Mark! You know who you are. Okay, we cut it off. You use your protective glove to grab the hot metal because it's hot. Bring it all over here, back to the cart. Squeeze through. And then ooh and ah at how perfect the cut was. So it'll go on something like this. If anything, we cut it a little bit long. Don't want to have it too short. You're almost going too fast. Well, I didn't want to go too slow. Yeah, so. exactly. If it's long, you can just cut off a little bit. That should be good. Now we just need four of these. Kind of like decorations. I like it. Okay, get out your tr trusty measuring tape. And then you'll notice we expertly cut it to three and seven sixteenths, which is a very common number. And we just have to make sure all the other ones are the same. Or if you don't have a measuring tape, you do the the, uh, the this way of measuring. You just make your little mark right here. And there we have it. Two symmetrical pieces of metal. Brings a tear to my eye. We need two more. And I'll be back when I'm done that. Okay, we've got four ready to go. I've grinded off the, the little uh, decoration on the ends because we need to drill a hole in each one of those and so I've measured it out and uh, stuff <laughs> alright I've taken off a few of the decorations just so uh, when I drill it it won't get in the way uh, but first I'm gonna I've already clamped it and I'm gonna tack the ends so then while I drill it then they won't move and then the holes should be lined up perfectly so let's do it! Nice! What the heck? Shh, don't show anybody that. Ah! Please focus, 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 focus. Okay, I've, whoa, there we go. Tack the ends, almost, almost missed that one, but it should work. Now I'll just do the same for the other one, and then get drilling. 
All right, for the pilot hole, I've chosen a 3 16th drill bit. I've chosen this size because it was the first drill bit I could find. So, slap that on in there, tighten her up, watch it fall back out, and then put down the camera so I can actually do it. Okay, for the actual pivot point, we're going to use a 9 16th bolt. But Kev, isn't that a 9 16th head and a 3 8 bolt? Why, yes it is, but shut up! Mistakes were made, okay? Leave me alone, I'm not perfect. Not this long, but it's the same size. So we need to drill a 7 16 hole. So we've got that set up. And... Do a little demonstration. I'm gonna have to use both hands, but... Wow! Huh? Pretty good. Okay, now I'll actually do it. Okay. Hole has been drilled, and now we'll just take it out and do the next one. This is fun. Okay, one hand should be on the vise, I'm thinking. <laughs> That's close. Safety first! Okay, both of them are drilled out, and theoretically, this should just slide on in. Ooh. Uh, when the time comes, I'll attach the magnet to the frame, and then we'll just weld it up. But right now, there's uh, paint on here, so we got to get rid of that. You know, that's not too bad. Oh, kneeling, kneeling on cords. Oh. So, something like this. For time being, I'll keep it like that, and then I'll go find the other one. This is kind of how I have it. The magnet is on the, the frame right here. And then it acts as kind of a, a straight edge. So then, it's nice and lined up. There. Now we just gotta weld it. Or clamp it. You know what? You know what? That wasn't very nice. Okay, tacked her on, oops, sorry, you know I figured out my problem, it's I always point the viewfinder at the thing and then that makes the actual lens go to the side. I'm still learning, okay, I'm going to put a few more tacks in place, I'm not going to weld it up right away because I still don't know if it's exactly what I want, that's the plan, and then I'll do the same for the other side. Okay, I got both sides on now. Had to do a little bit of clamping on the second one. It was frustrating. But it all seems to be working fine. That goes in nicely, spins freely. As does this one. Main thing is it looks beautiful. Yeah, let's uh, call it a day and then tomorrow or some other time, do something.